Okay, so here is Mia's video. Um, now I am working with one of our managers, Ashley. Um, so I can work, we can work two dogs at the same time and work on those distractions. So I have Kona and you can see Mia having a slate pouty moment <laughs> here. So not only is it not me training her, it's someone else. Um, but you can also see her like, okay, fine. I guess I'll sit. Now we are using frozen peanut butter. It's less than a tablespoon frozen on a spoon. Um, and she gets a little lick, um, every time she's getting rewarded. So this is where one, the motivation's definitely worth it with some frozen peanut butter, but also getting her to, um, focus really getting her to hey can you pay attention to me can we do see another dog and not react can we see another person and not react and every time she does disengage she gets a little nugget um the hard part with this behavior and the hard thing that um when we have any type of reactivity or fear-based behaviors it's about exposure practice basically the more we get exposed to the thing that makes us scared the more the less it's going to make us scared so while it may seem kind of like the boring part, it's just repping it, repping it, repping it, repping it, repping it. And now having a different handler is really helping her learn. It doesn't matter who the handler is because she's formed such tight bonds with the people around her. It's about, hey, you have to pay attention to whoever is holding the leash. Um, and Kono and I get to be a distraction while we're working this. Um, so where she has to focus on Ashley and not me. So give us a second and you're gonna see a switch and then we're gonna have Soper be our distraction. So here's where Soper, I asked him to be a distraction and you can see Mia having, uh, you can't hear it, but she is whining, um, doing that whole garbage disposal. Why are you leaving me? Um, <laughs> and Kono's still doing his back and forth. So this is where getting her to still focus. She got praised to get off the, the cot and then now you have to go up and oh, look, there's another dog that we have to leave it. Um, once she sits or when she, when she stops pulling on us, she gets a little treat and then we're going to ask her to sit. When we do training behavior like this, we're going to look at it from, yes, she should be sitting and or, and, or laying down on the place cot before she gets off of it. Um, but we just had three high value distractions walk past us. So if she's just standing on it and not whining, I'll take that as a win. Can we walk over to the office and not whine? Can we take that as a win? Um, it's all about picking what are our battles and what is our focus on? Can we walk next to a dog and not have a reaction? Um, she's really focused on getting into the office, but she can also walk past another dog. So just a snippet of some, some of the things that we work on. Let me know if you have any questions.